On Mark, this is going to be a review on your architectural board examination that's coming in in the near future. So, so, <laughs> so, magtoon kag maayo, ha? You have to talk to yourself. <laughs> this is the way I'm, I'm actually telling you that this is Dicky Ching Visual Dictionary, one of the most essential for the review of architecture. So, Let's start with our book appearance. This is actually um, simplified design and uh, yeah, it's as simple as this, as architecturally done. It's minimalist, right? Minimalist. We have um, one of the features, no? Mga features of arches, one of the plans, the elevations, and then... Of course, it is written there the Francis D. K. Ching, which is the author of this visual dictionary for architecture. This is the second edition. Okay, let's proceed to our first page. Our first page we have yeah the most simple simplified uh, display of. A visual dictionary of architecture second edition just it it's triangle there's nothing more about it it's just a fire page a fly page and then another page for a visual dictionary of architecture second edition more more display of like um, yeah mga visuals and then the author and then the production and then that's it so we have here the copyright edition in the next page in the back page of the the second page that we've had and then after that i will no longer to talk more on the the yes these book printed in acid free paper and everything so let's proceed to uh, contents of course the contents that are written here are the terminologies of architecture and with that we have the preface 7 architecture is the first word and it is the number one of all the terminologies so that's so very very goosebump why because architecture tells us all architecture is number one and one of the hardest if not the hardest, but one of the hardest board examination or courses in college, right? So after architecture, so I, let me state all of the terminologies that are in here. You just have to memorize you know, or familiarize all the terminologies. First is arch, second is beam, then brick, building, cable structure, selling, ceramic, church, color, Column, computer graphics, concrete, construction, design, dome, door, drawing, electricity, elevator, fastening, fireplace, fire safety, floor, force, fortification, foundation, frame, geometry, glass, hardware, heat, history, house, joiner, light, load, masonry, Material, me measure, membrane, metal, moisture protection, order, ornament, paint, plaster, plastic, plate, plumbing, reinforced concrete, ro roof, I'm sorry, roof, room, shell, site work, soil, sound, stair, stone, structure, survey, sustainability, Simple, theater, truss, vault, vision, wall, window, wood. And then we have the index in the last part. Hello, Clark. Future architect Clark is in here. Hi. So, <laughs> our next page is preface. We also have uh, more visuals about arches we have the pointed arch we also have the uh, details of different arches how it is being built and we have this um a preface on how it is being you know 
disclaimed or being disclaimer for the readers. So in one picture, it's worth a thousand words so meaning to say if you could just look at one picture it tells you everything that you can think of there's a lot of terminologies and terms and a lot of of ideas that comes in if you have to look at it if you just have to 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 have more of ideas about it and you just have to indulge the <laughs> beta right with that actually you have just have to to look more on the details of that picture and then it just tells you everything about it and then just a quick recap for our front page this is actually telling you that the book itself is actually disclaiming something so just a simple image can be worth a thousand words, meaning to say a single word can conjure up in the mind's eye th a thousand images. So regardless of the power of solitary word or image, however, each communicates meaning more effectively when brought together into a single presentation. So the symbolic relationship between graphic and verbal communication is the basis of this visual dictionary of architecture so instead of an alphabetical listing of entries as found in most dictionaries the information is clustered around basic aspects of architecture so as outlined in the table of contents within each sections words are placed in a visual context which further explains and clarifies and completes their meaning so the reader may use this dictionary in a number of ways by what means if one knows the exact term and wants to find out its meaning then one can look up in the den in the index looking up one term will always present related terms arranged around one or more illustrations and more of that, it's, it, one does not know the precise term. Remember this one. The one can look up the general subject in either the table of contents or the index. So one can then refer to appropriate sections, brow, browse the illustrations, and scan for the term. While browsing, if one encounters an entry or word, use in definition that is unfamiliar one can look it up in the index and it's located here at the back page of the book all right so included are fundamental terms relating to architectural design history and technology since architecture is a visual art most of the entries naturally lend themselves to graphic presentation. So some are more abstract of like the uh, included to help and clarify related terms to complete the treatment of a subject. So others are inserted simply because they are of historical interest, right? So that's, that's how it is being indulged as we go along with this book. And then more additional, more additional ah, may mga question pala tayo. Ano ang, ga, ang galing mo po mag-deliver ng <laughs> sasabihin mo? Sa interview ko lang, failed, failed, sorry. Sa kasi di, hindi ako marunong magbasa no? Kasi di po ako ganon kagaling mag-deliver. <laughs> Kaya mo yan! Just push Mam Jovi Alcazar. Um, you know what to tell you. Actually, one of my frustration uh, when I was college, you know, is to, to talk in English, to speak in English, to dwell more in English. But, you know, I'm working on it. I'm still working on it. Still have to learn a lot more about English. But, you know, just have to have more ideas of comprehensive you know thoughts and ideas more of elaborations and that's it so despite these additions this remains a book for the curious to browse as well as the desktop 
reference for the student of architecture so the the computation of words actually here are the definition is not intended to be exhaustive why because rather this section is defined or designed to be comprehensive enough to reflect the rich complex and multi-dimensional dimensional nature of architecture so meaning to say this is really really helpful so architecture students why because it is being simplified it is being you know proved na makakata makaka tulong talaga sa ating mga estudyante so that's it that's the that's the preface and then uh, more of uh, more of a definition of architecture is in here we also have uh, the simplified architecture yo you all have to see this difference. This is the real long definition of architecture. And if you have the idea of this vision or visual, this is the only thing that you have to remember because our brain actually have different kinds of you know branches or styles of understanding things that are in in, in, in that are in everything so whether it be your or more of like words and everything the comprehensive are all in the very detailed or the visual one and then simplified word this is actually more of a like a uh, context word and it is very very helpful why because um yeah it's a OZ, it's so easy to everybody because uh so simple and so very precise very very direct to the point so that's it so before we actually have to review all on architecture of course we should have to start from the very core of it before we dwell into details we have to 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 remember always remember the foundation of everything that we have in the review of architecture so and that is to understand truly the meaning of architecture it is written here different kinds of interpretations of how architecture is defined by different kinds of perspectives different kinds of authors different kinds of philosophers different kinds of you know writers different kinds of historians a lot of definitions are actually in here not all but at least around hundreds of definitions are being uh, being intact in one one page and this is the simplified so it's so so matagal na <laughs> so architecture let me start it architecture is an art for all to learn because all are concerned with it john raskin so that's his definition about architecture it's an art to learn about because all concerned about it it's more of a like the idea of like if you're concerning something it's architecture it's how it is right so architecture depends in order arrangement youth oh you read them yeah you read me Sys symmetry propriety and economy okay so all of these must be built with due reference to durability uh, convenience and beauty durability will be assured when foundation are carried down to the solid ground and materials wisely and liter liberally selected convenience and when the arrangement of the apartments is um, faultless faultless and present no hindrance to use and when each class of building is assigned to its suitable and appropriate exposure a beauty and a beauty when the appearance of the work is pleasing and in good taste and when its members are in due proportion proportion according to correct principles of symmetry so meaning to say there's a lot of things that are going on in symmetry and asymmetry which is architecture in general as the masterly 
correct and magnificent play of masses brought together in light and that is Le Corbusier. Le Corbusier, yeah. Anyone entering on the study of architecture must understand that even though a plan may have abstract beauty on or on paper, the four facades may actually seem well balanced and the total volume um, will be proportionate or proportioned. The building itself may turn out to poor architecture. Internal space that space which is cannot be completely um, represented in any form which can be grasped and felt only through direct experience is the protagonist of architecture so to grasp space to know and how to use it and to see it it is the key that we have to understand that building is about it architect no yeah, no, hindi pala. <laughs> Sorry. Akala ko si architect nor something. Anyway, let's proceed. Where am I? Architecture is painting. And sculpture are called fine arts. They appeal that the eye as music does not or do not or does to, uh, does to the ear. So, but architecture, well, let me correct that. Architecture, painting, and sculpture are called the fine arts. They appeal to the eye as music does to the ear. But architecture is not judged by visual appeal alone. Remember, it is not visual alone. No? It is because architecture is not judged by visual appeal alone. Why? Because building affects all of the human senses. Remember that? Affects all of the human senses. The eye, the ear, or shall I say, the sound, the smell, the touch, the taste, and the vision. And that's what Forrest Wilson believed. Okay. So with that... Uh, it it's became apparent to us that architecture is generally assumed to be highly specialized system that a set of prescribed technical goals rather than essential social art responsive to real human desires and feelings. All right, hello, Sergi and Carlo. So, with that, this limitation is most uh f frighteningly manifested in the reliance of two dimensional diagrams that lay more stress on the quantifiable features of building organization than one on the polychromatic and three dimensional qualities of the whole architectural experience and that is believed by Kent Bloom Bloomer Charles Moore all right so the only way that you can build is the only way that you can get the building into being is through the measurable diba? so you must follow the laws of nature and use quantities of brick methods of construction and engineering but in the end when the building becomes part of living it evokes unmeasurable quantities and the spirit of it is extense strikes takes over and that's believed by Louis Kahn so more of a definition we also have here a uh, different kind of perspective building or built environment have various purposes as what is being said by someone else by you know, later um, more to shelter people and their activities remember that to shelter people and their activities and possessions from the elements what are the elements and from human and animal enemies and from supernatural powers so see 
even the supernatural powers are being included in the design consideration. Yeah. <laughs> so, to establish place, to create, humanize, safe area in a profane and potentially da dangerous world, to stress, social identify, the indicate uh, status, and so on. So thus, the origin of architecture are best understood if one takes a wider way view of considerations of sociocultural factors in the broadest sense. So more important than climate, technology, materials, and econo economy, economy, <laughs> economy. So in any situation, it is the interplay of all these factors that best explains the form of building. So no single explanation will suffice because building, even the apparently humble dwellings, are more than material objects or structure. Remember that one. So that is even the most basic understanding about architecture is not just all about shelter it's not just all about everything that you can see oh it's a building it's not all about that architectural about tells you more beyond it's more of a like the application of architecture the theories the the history of architecture is in there it is dwelt there it is being explained to you there and everything that has to be displayed on you is not just the physical itself it's actually telling you there's a, there's a lot of hidden actually it's hidden because we cannot we we do not know about it but hidden because we should have to learn more about it. That's it. So, more of a definition of a lot of philosophers are here. So, yeah, to stress social identity and indicate status and so on. So, thus, the origins of architecture are best un understood if one takes a wider view and considers social cultural factors. In the broadest sense, and to be more important than climate, technology, materials, and economy. So in any situation, it is interplayed that all of these factors have best explained the form of building. So no single explanation that the office is building. It's not just this building it's, uh, itself, but it's more beyond. So that's more. And even the idea of giving physical expression to ideas of valuable encoding ideas and makes them useful um mnemonics and ideas help beha behavior by reminding people of how to act how to behave and what is expected of them it is important to uh, uh, stress that all built environments like buildings settlements and landscapes are one way of ordering the world by making ordering systems visible the essential step therefore it is the ordering or organizing of the environment simple as that it's it's being um idealized into a term that uh we have to order something okay one way of ordering the world by making ordering systems visible the essential step therefore remember is the ordering no the ordering or organizing of the environment is as it and it is believed by Amos Rapaport Rapaport <laughs> so more of that Roskin said as well that great nations write the autobiographies in three manuscripts first is the book of their deeds second is the book the book of their words and the third is the book of their art so not not no one of these books can be actually understood unless we read the two others but 
of the three and the only trustworthy one is the last is the last one on the whole thing i mean sorry on the whole thing i think this is true so if i had to say which is which i was telling the truth about society a speech of ministry of housing or actual buildings put up in this time i should believe that building no building is we require and that is the act well and do the things it was intended to do in the best way that is to speak well to say the things that we have intended to say in the best words so that if not look well and please use or us it by its presence so whatever it is whatever it has to do or say it is how it is and lastly architecture also exists without necessary assistance from an architect oh that's new for me huh? it also exists without necessary assistant or assistance from the architect why because an architect or an architect sometimes create buildings which are not architecture why because they do not actually indulge the being of an architect so architecture is produced by ordinary people for ordinary people therefore it should be easily comprehensible to all and that is believed by steen Eilier ross mason right and then norval white actually motosyag ingon niya norval white ang iyagid ko ano ang iya idea of an architecture is not the art of an architect it's not dependent on the the maker it's not that so that's new to me huh? <laughs> because Actually, ang definition gan niya, no? uh, if you just have to, to narrow down all the ideas this has been uh, constructed here in the words, uh, yeah, the philosophy is a Siza. And then, as what I, have, un- what I have understood here, the architects actually sometimes act not truly architect. Why? Because it is a continuous learning mangot of, of architecture so it is endless the meaning of his work actually endless everything actually has to be learned not all but at least a lot more of an architecture and that you are you are about to do to build an architecture if you are truly a well-versed or well uh, idealized or ideal architect so the most exciting part of this conversation is actually this simplified definition of architecture all right so this one of the most simplified definition out of all these very long different kinds of versions of architecture's definition or meaning this is the only thing that you have to to remember and you know to understand really what architecture is all right there are one two three four five five words that are very important to understand architecture first art second science third designing fourth construction and fifth is building Meaning to say, if you just have to construct it in a very formal way of grammar, the art and science of designing and constructing buildings. That's just it. Simple as that. That's architecture. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that simple? Isn't that very, very simple to you? That the art of architecture... Is actually the product or result of architectural work building collectivity 
and then the style of mo a method of building characteristics of people place or time and then the profession of designing building and other habitable environment and then the cons the conscious act of forming things resulting in un unifying or coherent structure that's just it so meaning to say architecture is the art and science of designing and constructing buildings isn't that simple yes it is okay let me explain to you why it is being art why it's being science why it's being used of designing the work and then the constructing and also have building why are all of it why are all of that why because architecture stands for a art why art is the generalized term for designing or um, a lot of of ideas about art is actually the 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 artistry of different different fields you know and then science is the application of mathematics and science or science the application of science here is actually telling you that architecture is is being studied no it is being studied way very very long why it is being proved in several very several um, experimentations several kind of studies that is to create architecture it is studied and then designing to design and then constructing to construct or to apply and last term is building that's it the result the result result yeah result all right so of course the product or resort of architectural work buildings collectivity and then the style of method of building characteristic of people place or time and then the profession of designing buildings and other habitable uh, environments and also the conscious of art i oh know the conscious of art <laughs> the conscious of act or the conscious act of forming things resulting in ununifying or coherent structure all right yes oh my god i just opened the very detailed Dicky Ching first appearance of architecture here it is okay so we're about to tackle more of the detail of the definition and more of uh, ideas about architecture and I think we have so much time for now no because it was just our first appearance it was just our first step to know more about architecture so let's have it on our next live this has been your dicks dj john on the mix <laughs> this has been john mark pimentel dial peace out